I love TGA for so many reasons. I could stand here and talk forever, but character development obviously is a part of the program. Integrity, perseverance, honesty. All of those things go into what we teach here during the day as well. So on the course and when we're doing the different stations. So that's why I want to stay involved and we're actually trying to expand to other schools as well. So it's, you know, and then this year we had the league, which is wonderful. So we had a lot of parents asking us, where can we go next after the after school program? So we've started to develop the league, which starts actually this coming Sunday. So it'll be great. So we're looking forward to it. I love golf because it teaches about life. It just, it's the greatest sport in the world. And that's the reason why I always say there's no trash talking in golf. Mm -hmm. And we have so much of that nowadays. And I think kids lose a perspective of what's important in life. So that's why I love this program as well. All right, are you ready? A TGA Premier Junior Golf started in 2003 out in California by Josh Jacobs. Started as an af uh, as a uh, overnight golf camp, and uh, it was so popular that uh, he decided to try to take it to the elementary schools and middle schools as an after-school program. Well, it was so they, they loved it so much, and he got so much um, so many calls on it that that he decided to franchise it. So we uh, offer a few different uh, opportunities in the game of golf here in Southwest Pittsburgh. Uh, we have after school programs. The after school programs are um, typically take place at the conclusion of the school day. Kids walk down the hallway, out either onto a field, out onto a, onto a court or a blacktop, or in the gymnasium. That's what's great about the program. We can adapt to whichever uh, the school asks us to do or where to hold it at. And the kids, we provide all the equipment. Kids come down, they get an hour lesson one day a week, and it usually runs about five, six weeks, and uh, they get a great education, not only on golf, but we talk about character development, respect, responsibility, courtesy, sportsmanship. Now, we start at age five, and we go right here in Southwest Pittsburgh. Right now, we're in the elementary schools, which is five through 12 years old. Uh, TGA actually expands to all the way up to 15 years old, which includes middle school. We, we haven't gotten there yet here in Southwest Pittsburgh, but that's the goal, to grow from ages five all the way through 15. So uh, parents are loving it, kids are loving it. We get a lot of um, repeat kids come back to our after school programs and our summer camps. So that's just a testament of, of how well our coaches are going or how, how well our coaches are doing and how our programs are, are going in the school programs and the summer camps. It was very relaxing. Um, I just have so much fun whenever I go out onto the course. And I always um, learn so much every time I go out. And the reason that I can't, um, that I did the, the camp was to become a better golfer, obviously, and to um, learn the game more and to have um, better golf etiquette. I'll never brag or never, <laughs> um, to never, like brag or never, um, never be too obnoxious and never to scream on a golf course. It's pretty good. And to always keep care of the course, um, so um, the next people that play there, they don't have to um, like put. If there's a divot, they don't have to fix it. So why do you like golf so much? Because uh, it's fun. It's fun hitting the ball around. Do your sisters pick on you while you're out here? No. They're pretty nice when they're on a golf course, aren't they? Yeah. See, you should golf more. <laughs> and what what do you like about golf, darling? Um, I like how it brings our family together. Because um, my Nana plays, my dad plays, and all of us play. Nana too? Yeah. Oh, that is cool. And what do you what do you think is the most important thing you've learned coming to the TGA camp so far? Um, what have they taught you that you say, you know what, you know, I learned this today and it's... Not stepping somebody else's line. Oh, that's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. That, that makes the ball not screw up. Not damaging the green. The divots. Yeah. That's for sure. And do you think you've become better golfers since you've been coming? Yeah. That's cool. And um, getting the ball straight. That is good. I bet you become a better pizza eater too, didn't you? I saw you in there eating pizza. You ate a whole box by yourself, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Especially don't throw the club, right? What happens, let me ask you something. Let's say if you missed a 12-foot putt to win the game. Would you A, throw the club, or B, take your hat off and shake the guy's hand who beat you? What are you supposed to do? Take your hat off. Take your hat off and say, thank you. Good game. That's right. That's outstanding. Oh, good hit, Mac. Good job. So, Deb, why, why did you enroll your son in the program? Because Mac wants to get out of the course and play with Dad. Am I right, Mac? 
Back me up, my friend. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and do you so, think, hey, so I have someone to play with in 10 years. There you go. Carry your bags <laughs> carry around. Carry you around. That's cool. What's going on here? What do, what do you like working with the kids so much? Well, they have a lot of enthusiasm. They really, they really like being here. Uh, and they're very receptive to new ideas. They're, they're, they're like little clean slates. Pretty much everything you tell them sticks. And uh, even in a week, you can see how quickly they've developed. Um, some of them came, they couldn't even hit the ball. And now they can actually play the game. So uh, probably the best thing about the camp is that we get them five days in a row. So uh, there's no time in between for them to uh, not do anything or get any bad habits. We see them every day and that really makes a difference. Good and, stuff. Uh, and these kids know how to have fun too. They, they have a blast. They don't take it too serious. Uh, they don't really care like the grown-ups sometimes do about the consequences. They hit a bow and they laugh and go ahead and hit another one. And that's a good way to learn. That's a good way to learn golf. We talk about respect. We talk about responsibility, uh, courtesy, honesty, sportsmanship, perseverance. All of those are important in the game of golf, but also in the in the game of life too. Uh, not only do they have to be respectful on the course, but uh, we talk, talk to them about being respectful to their parents, uh, being good sports, knowing how to win, uh, and also knowing how to lose. Um, we talk about courtesy, um, picking up clubs for somebody, helping them you know, find a ball that might be lost, um, not stepping in somebody's line. That all comes under respect, courtesy, sportsmanship. Um, so the game continues to, to teach them those great values, those character development lessons uh, on the course and also for life. So what did you learn this week? Um, I learned driving, putting, and chipping. And which is your favorite? Um, chipping. Why? Um, mostly because um, we, the ball, like, it goes like, um, so like, so this is a chipper, it goes like, and it flies in the air. Very nice. All right. How'd that feel, Eddie? <laughs> One, two, three. I'm here with future PGA superstar. What's your name? Dave. Dave. Dave is a superstar in the making. I watched you out there. Dave, you're outstanding. What do you like about golf? I like driving. He likes driving the ball. You mean putting it in the car and driving it to get ice cream? No. What do you mean? Using the driver to hit it off the tee. That's my favorite part too, man. That's my favorite part. Just watching it go, woo. See, this is why Dave's going to win the British Open someday, right? Maybe. Maybe. Or putting. You like putting too? Um, it's okay. It's not as exciting as a long, well hit drive, is it? Right. All right. Let's take Dave to the next hole here. We'll see what happens. So you have fun this week? Yeah. All right. Me too. Hang on. Hang on. What did you learn this week that's important? Um, I learned gas. Which ooh, is ooh, hang on. Hold on. That sounds important. Oh, we're going all the way up here. What is gasp? Gasp is grip, aim, stance, and posture. Do that again. What is gasp? G is grip. Where they they said like a hot dog in a bun. Yes. Then A is aim, where they say eyes on the prize or the or the face of the club. Right. S is stance, where they say shoulder width or neck. Or narrower for chipping. Right. Or for or shoulder width and further for oh, driving and using the seven iron. And that all spells what? Grass. Grass. What about P? I don't know. Posture. I thought it meant pizza. <laughs> all right, Dave, thank you for your time. Okay. G goodbye. Bye. They're fun. I like to teach them how to how to really play golf and not just to whack the ball and keep walking.
And do you think Emily behind you has any promise? She does. She's cute. She's cute enough to have promise. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, putting and driving. I thought it was. I thought you got to tackle people. I like golf too. You like golf too? Yeah. Well, what do you like about golf? It's really relaxing. There's different holes. Different holes? Yeah. So it's not the same sport. It's not the same hole. Like everything changes. Yeah. I get it. In other sports, you have to play on like a field, and it's always the same thing. I agree with you. I agree. And why did you say you like golf? I like putting and driving. Oh, you like to watch the ball go. Yeah. And what are you having fun here at the TGA? What are they teaching you at the TGA that you've learned? To putt well. I, I haven't been putting well. And I've, I've improved from the first day. You think your coach did a good job teaching you? Yeah. Because it's relaxing and it's exciting. I like putting and driving because it's really fun. You know what I like you just said there? You said golf is relaxing and exciting at the same time. Isn't that it? something? Yep. That's amazing. What part of it is relaxing for you? Putting. You got to be real calm, uh -huh. right? Yep. Show me how you putt. Nice and calm. Uh-huh. Nice and calm. And what's the exciting part? When the ball goes in the hole. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because that's the whole idea is to put the yeah. ball in the hole, right? Yeah. Are you having fun? Yes. I don't think you're having any fun. You don't look like you're having any fun. I am having fun. You are? What do you like most about golf? Driving. Driving. Oh, you like to pound the ball. Yeah. Yeah, and watch it just go. Mm -hmm. Flying Smith. <laughs> no. Is that a Smith? I am a leg. Hi. Hi, I'm a con. I'm a con. Love it. Like, the TGA is a junior program. It stands for Teach, Grow, and Achieve. We try to introduce the game to children as young as we can, ages five through 18. And we want to get them introduced to the game of golf. Instead of putting lacrosse sticks in their hands, we want to put golf sticks in their hands. So uh, that's where we think we can grow the game of golf better. We definitely do life skills as well. I mean, they learn to respect the equipment themselves, they're playing uh, their fellow players, their um, all the other children, their instructors, uh, the facility that we are uh, working at. Um, we started this in school, so they really had to obey a lot of rules when we did the after school programs, and that's really where TGA started, and then these camps just are, are an outgrowth of them. None of these kids have been in one of the TGA camps before. Um, some of them have played uh, with their dads or something like that, but you know, all, I have three kids that never touched a golf club before this week. Like, I know those three have never been on a golf course before or touched a club before this week. We have rental clubs we, for the kids if they don't have clubs, so that way the parents don't have to go out and buy them. But for the most part, most of the kids, you know, even if they are been playing, they've only been playing for maybe mm, they get out once a month with their dad or they go to their driving range once in a while. Here it gives them a really good idea on what they're doing. We, we teach etiquette and everything on the golf course, how to mark a ball, how not to walk on a line, you know, stand in an appropriate place, don't walk ahead and be safe, you know, all that kind of thing. It's like everything that goes on in golf and in, in, in life skills. We even have an exercise component where we make them warm up and do stretches and various exercises before they even go out, so, and, and start hitting balls. There goes Anna right there. And, and that's, that's fun. <laughs> we get them going, they're all groaning whenever they stretch. And then I say, hey, even the old man can touch his toes. What's the matter with you guys? <laughs> you know, so we're basic. I mean, this is sort of funny, but, you know, I have a drill. And I'll go, I'll put ball and tee in hand, hold it above your head, club in the other hand. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to practice teeing the ball up in five seconds because I don't want to watch you teeing the ball up for a half a minute. And we go in one, two, three, four, five, and they're getting it in less than 10 seconds, which is great. Well, I've learned. I learned, um, well, when I was in driving station, I learned not to go like this. I learned to go like this and then follow through. That's a pretty good swing, man. And then at chipping, it goes knee high to knee yeah, yeah, high. Yeah. Oh, stay, stay. Well, Tyler just made it in the yes! second. Did he really? Yeah, he just made it. That was pretty good. Now, how does that feel when it goes right? Pretty, pretty good, actually. How does it feel when it goes bad? Not good at all. Yeah. The thing that I'm best at is probably putting. I'm best at putting out of driving, chipping, and driving. That's important. That's important. Yep, yes.
how to chip with a seven iron. And how's that going for you? It's okay. Yeah? Are you a chipping guy, a putting guy, or a driving kind of guy? I'm a chipping kind of guy. Yeah? That's, that's a pretty good skill set, isn't it? Yeah. To be able to hit that ball just right near the hole. Okay. How old are you, Alex? Eight. Eight? Have you played been playing golf all your life? Like since you were like one years old? No, you came I've out been, of the womb with a I've, ball? I've been playing since I was four years old. Oh, really? Four. Like sometimes we go to golf courses and play. Oh, cool. And you like that? You go with your parents? No, my grandparents. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Well, go get the balls, all right? Hi, how are you? Good. What do you like about golf? Um, hitting the ball. Me too. I like, like, hitting it so it goes straight. But most of the time when I hit the ball, it goes zoom. Yeah, that's... Zoom. The favorite one to like the zoom is the clubs. It, it, you, like, you like the drivers? Yeah, yeah, I like the fairway woods, too. Fairway woods? Yeah. How do you even know what a fairway wood is? Because I still the smaller clubs. I like that. I it's like that. It's the same clubs as me. I like yeah. the fairway woods, too. We both have Ricky Fowler's clubs. You better give them back to him. What is he going to play with this weekend? Them. I have mine over there and he has his over there. Yeah, but if you don't give them back to Ricky, what's he going to use this weekend? See, that's a joke. Yeah. That wasn't very funny, though, was it? Mm -mm. <laughs>